Hey everyone, sitting outside here at the Heritage Bend Golf Center where the Colorado's, Colorado Falconers Association is going to have their uh, annual little potluck. And this is going to be my first time interacting with them and dealing with falconry as a whole, really, ever. Um, bit of a passion that I've just recently picked up over the last year or so, wanted to get into falconry and this is the place to start, so I'm not too sure what's going to happen when I get in there, what I'm going to see, if there's even going to be any falcons or anything like that. But what I'm going to be doing is uh, just trying to get in there, meet with the people, learn from them, trying to learn and grow from, you know, right now I don't know anything about falconry and I would like to change that. See, maybe in the next few years or so we can try and become a, a master falconer or something like that, or at least an apprentice, maybe own one of my own. So this will be the first video of hopefully many where we'll be able to see my progression from a amateur falconer who doesn't know too much at the moment besides a little bit in some books and maybe I can become something a little bit bigger than that. So we'll see what it's like inside, see the kind of people that I can meet and see what I can learn from them. Day one, we have successfully infiltrated the Falconers Association. So far, I appear to have gained the trust of many of the individuals. Not being the only bird-obsessed individual in the room is going to take some time to get used to. Update number two. We are now learning all the information that we can from their presentations. Currently looking in how to grow and expand the bird populations for global takeover. More details to follow. And we have here the winner of 50 frozen quails, which is going to be fed to one soon very full falcon. All right, back now from the banquet and had a very fun time there. Met with a lot of people and got to, you know, learn a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, no falcons that were there, um, unfortunately. I guess it was an indoor event, so it was probably for the best. But uh, I do have some new information, some more dates and, you know, more events that I can attend in the, uh, in the future. Um, some events going on in June for actual apprentice seminars. So more hands-on experience and stuff actually dedicated for people like me who really doesn't know a whole bunch and is just waiting to waiting to learn I guess and waiting to waiting to really get a grip of what the whole falconeering thing is uh, all about um, but yeah a lot of the people there are really awesome uh, a lot of stories to be told and turns out a pretty good pickup line for someone like me is you know I've never actually held a falcon before and a lot of these guys were very interested in telling me all about the experiences and just uh, welcoming me on board a lot of very nice people, and even though I had to be a little bit, you know, socially active and everything like that, which is stuff I really don't like ever doing, they were still pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, one thing I did notice is that I was a relatively younger individual compared to most of the people there, and but there were a few people my age who did attend, so it's good to see that the, uh, I guess the sport of falconry is uh, still hopefully alive and well, and a lot of people still wanting to, uh, to keep it going. One thing that I did notice, though, is uh, it didn't really matter which age the person was. Every single one of them told me that if I wanted to get into this sport, I was going to be surrounded by a lot of crazy people. And if I did want to become a falconer, I would also be crazy myself. Luckily, I'm mostly insane already, so it does actually work out pretty well. I should be, uh, I should fit right in, I should say. And uh, I should, I'll be very comfortable being, being, in these, uh, being in these social groups, I guess. So yeah, overall just a very fun event, and uh, they even had a little, you know, some prize drawings and stuff at the end there, and I ended up winning some stuff. I got this little eagle. Look how cool he is. I'm going to put him up somewhere, I guess. I got a bookshelf for him, and I also got books. This one here, if I can hold it up. Bam, look at that. I get to study falcons. And even a little poster. It, it, it needs to be in a frame and stuff, because right now you can't really see everything, but it's still pretty cool. I like it. I think it's a cool little thing. And yeah, so just for 10 bucks, won a, won a couple of the rallies there. It was pretty awesome. And again, the people there, I introduced myself, was saying, hey, you know what, I'm new. New to this whole thing, just learning what I can. They came up, one of the guys came up, more books. Look at this. There's more books here than I read in high school. This is more books than I had in this whole house before this began. I don't know what I'm going to do. I got too much to read here, but you know what? I guess uh, the best thing I could do now is just start learning and just continue to grow and develop. So hopefully I'll be able to knock out a couple of these books by the time June comes around and 
And hopefully when June does come around, I'll be able to get some actual experience with the Falcons. So right now, taking my time, taking those, you know, small steps forward, trying to learn as much as I can. It's a little, it's, it's a slow process. Um, I, I certainly didn't expect it to happen, you know, immediately. This is a process that's going to take me probably a couple of years from uh, start to completion. So hopefully in a few years, we'll see just how far I've come along with this whole stuff. Who knows? And maybe a couple of years, I'll be a uh, official falconer. It, I guess we'll just have to see. Only time is going to tell. And for right now, I got a lot of studying to do, a lot of books to read. And I guess I got to just get right on to that. So with these little steps, we're just going to keep taking them and keep working forward. So we'll see what happens and we'll just go from there.